Mighty Ajax, it is time to take your place at the forefront of the Achaean host. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. The island of Salamis breeds proud and prudent fighters, independent in spirit, yet willing to ally with Agamemnon and aid the Achaean cause. None can stand against the bulwark of the Achaeans. You have recently taken the settlement of Megara, but beware the men of powerful Athens who would curb your ambitions in the region. Whilst your attention was elsewhere, the pirates of Echis launched a raid and captured the Isle of Aegina. Now their ships menace Salamis itself. Retake Aegina and run these sea wolves down. Even with such challenges at your door, you will not abandon an ally in need. King Menelaus of Sparta has been wronged and must have his vengeance. Paris of Troy must pay! It is your destiny, Ajax the Great, to shield your allies with undaunted fervor and defeat all who march against you. Hello, Monsters of Andrew, and welcome back to Total War Troy, a game that I really like, and I don't care what anyone thinks. I did stop my Odysseus campaign, but that's mostly because of Hector's Chosen, and fuck those guys. Anyway, so this is the Diomedes and Ajax DLC for Total War Troy, and this brings Ajax. Ajax the Great. There he is, big old bear man with a big old beard. He looks amazing, should have been voiced by Brian Blessed, wasn't. That's disappointing. And Diomedes, who starts off in Argos, of course. Diomedes was the, the Mary Sue of the Iliad. Shanked both Ares and Apollo, and Athena drove his chariot for a bit, and he survived the war, and basically got home fine. He's a bit of a prick, so we aren't playing him. He lives at Argos, which of course is where we get catalogues from, has these strange rites where you have to chisel a, a combination of numbers and letters onto a bit of stone, hand it to a guy, and he'll go and get some stuff from the back, and that's what happens there. No, we're going to play Ajax instead, because I'm a bit of an Ajax fanboy, to be honest. Because Ajax, like, Achilles is fine. But Ajax, I mean, he's the bulwark of the Achilles. I mean, he, 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 when no one else can, he just stands there and takes it. And he does. And uh, he, he, he saves the Greeks, basically. When the Trojans attack the Greek ships to try and drive them away, uh, Ajax is the only warrior who stands against them and sort of fends off all the Trojans by himself. And uh, when Achilles dies... They have like a, a thing to, to see who's going to win his armour. And uh, turns out Odysseus does. And Ajax is so disappointed by that, he commits suicide. So, I mean, look, I'm not saying anything, but Ajax may, like, he's he's a big burly boy. But maybe, you know, he's lacking in self-worth. You know, maybe, maybe he's overcompensating for something. We may never know, but uh, we're going to play as Ajax. And Ajax comes with a couple of new, new sort of like uh, mechanics, which are quite fun. So we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of you, and we'll get rid of Homer. Get back in your box, you creepy old bastard. Right, okay, so um, both Diomedes and Ajax have these new, I think they're called Paragon units. Um, now, the way they get them is different. Whereas Diomedes kind of recruits them, Ajax uh, sort of has like a Regiment of Renowned type mechanic where we have these list of heroes which we have to face in combat. We can challenge them to sort of non-mortal combat. That's right, it's non Mortal Kombat, so so no fatalities. And once we defeat them, they become a, a sort of special unit. So, for example, if we defeat um, a Ferreus here, he becomes like some spear runners, but a special unit of spear runners that increases the speed of everyone around him. Um, so that's quite nice. So they're kind of like regiments of renown that you can pick up, and they're all dotted across the world. I think there's about 22 of them. Um, but you start off with six. You need a certain level of renown to challenge them. Now, currently, uh, we start off with zero renown. And renown is our sort of secondary mechanic. And uh, as we increase our renown, we basically get increased diplomatic relations with the Danans. And also, we get an increase in our diplomatic uh, evaluation, uh, except for barters, which is uh, a little bit of a shame. So that's quite nice. So that, that's, that's sort of our paragon unit. In fact, you can, are those all the paragon units there? 
no, that's the armies. Sorry, I was. Yes, they come with armies. Basically, you need to fight their armies, and you can see how many units they have. There you go. There we go. So you can see they they basically challenge them. They appear on the map close to the settlement where um, they've appeared, and uh, then you can then you can fight them. There's a whole range of different uh, units. Some of them are very, 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 very powerful. Um, others kind of like meh, but then I guess those are the weaker ones. So anyway, that's uh, that's one of his mechanics. The other one is the Warrior of Renown. So again, this ties into our Renowned meter. We get Renowned missions, which uh, will be things like if, if someone attacks one of our allies, then we will potentially get an, a, a mission to go and defeat one of their armies or something, something like that. And we can also throw sort of a celebration and we can pick one of our ancillaries as a reward. So I'm not 100% sure what that does, but uh, we shall... Oh, I see, so we'll get resources. Oh, cool. Okay, neat. Should have read the, uh, the talk. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so Ajax. Ajax faction is very sort of like... It's very it's very tanky, as you would expect from the bulwark of the Achaeans. So, our units that we start off with, or our special units, I should say, are... First off, we get the Ajax Companions. So these guys are... They're a smaller unit than normal, but they've got a lot of armor. A lot of armor. Good missile resistance as well. Uh, good damage. Bonus burst large. Good melee attack and defense. They also get the Reckless Charge ability, which increases speed and charge bonus, but reduces melee defense. Uh, they also have Battlefield Healing. So outside of combat, they will uh, replenish hit points. And they have Flanking Attack Improve. So they're good on the flank. As well as expert charge defense. So quite a good sort of like um, tanky unit. But also quite offensive as well. The upgrade to that. Or rather I should say the more defensive version. Is Ajax Wall. Which has even more armor. Even more missile resistance. Very very tanky. Huge amounts of melee defense. Look at that. And uh, pretty good damage. They also come with reckless charge. And battlefield healing. But they don't have the flanking. So these guys are sort of like the, the front line. These guys are your sort of. I guess on the flanks. So that's the main main line. And then you get your flanking units. But also, we also have the Salamaris Marines. So these guys come with a flanking attack improved and reckless charge as well. They also have better melee and uh, uh, melee attack and defense. They get fairly good armor. Generally, fairly, fairly good unit. Uh, upgrade to those are Salamis Swordsmen. They don't have... They have flanking. Oh, they don't have reckless charge. They, right, they don't have reckless charge. They do have flanking attack improves. There we go. Um, their melee attack and defense are just better. They're basically just an upgrade, but except they they don't have the um, the reckless charge, which you know may, maybe you want to. I don't know. 172. Uh, well, the damage is a lot better to be honest. So yeah, you, you're probably you'd probably want to go with Slamish Swordsman if anything else. Ajax also comes with some good missile units. We have the veteran Lossarian Slingers. These guys have uh, good ammunition, they've got good range, they've got very good missile damage, and they also have expert accuracy, which means friendly units will never take damage from their attacks. So you can fire wildly into melee combat and it won't affect you, which is pretty good. It basically means that any shots that hit your units will do no damage, but they'll still hit your unit, so they won't like pass through and go into the enemy. So if you're shooting into the back of your units, then obviously a lot of those shots are going to go into the back of your unit and not do any damage, but it means you won't at least be doing damage to your own unit. We also get the uh, Tusa's Bowmen, who are, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why they exist. They are armoured. I guess that's the reason? Mind you, these guys are shielded, so they, they were, like, I don't... Okay, so they cost a lot of bronze to upkeep. Um, they have slightly more missile damage, but the same range and ammunition as the Slingers. So, I don't really know why you'd pick the Bowman, to be honest. Because they're just a lot more bronze expensive. So, personally, I'd always go for the Slingers, but that's me. Anywho. Uh, is there any other units we get? Iron Spearman are normal. Iron Spearman are key and slingers. Blah, blah, blah. Slime of Swordsman. Slime of Sam uh, uh, We also get the... Is that it? I think that's it. I thought something else, but there's no... Oh, yes. We also get the... Um, the new god. The altar of Hephaestus. Who... Is that right? Who knows? Who basically upgrades your armor and... Uh, and weapons. So you get an increase of 15 to your armor and melee attack if you recruit... Um, units in a settlement with the Temple of Hephaestus. Otherwise, uh, you can actually pay for it. So if a unit is in the region, I think you can then pay to upgrade their, their armor and weapons. I'm not sure how much that is. It might be quite expensive. 
but there we go. Uh, Ajax also gets some special buildings. Actually, in fact, he gets really nice special buildings as well. Some of the best, I think, in the game. Uh, we get the Great Artisan Workshop, which increases the favour of Hephaestus by 150. It gives us an ancillary upon construction, but it also reduces the stone and bronze construction costs, which is really nice because I find that stone is the bottleneck for a lot of your building projects. So reducing that by 60% is going to be pretty major. Uh, we also get the Ajax Retinue, which reduces upkeep costs of heavy infantry and giant units, as well as increasing the melee defense of heavy infantry units and the missile damage of your special missile units as well, which is uh, quite quite good. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And then we also get the Arena of the Mighty, which is going to increase the recruit rank of heavy infantry and giant units. It's also going to increase the experience for melee units per turn. Uh, and reduce the cost to recruitment of all units and also increase the charge bonus of heavy infantry units for um, units in that province. And also, uh, obviously, this allows us to recruit the Ajax units as well. Um, so we start on the little island of Slamis over here. Uh, Megara is just to our north. Agena, just to our south, is the is the third settlement in this province. And we've also got one of our challenges here, so Farius. A fa a fa a fa <laughs> that guy, he's there. It's going to cost us some food to challenge him, um, but we can do that once we arrive, and we are going to head south almost immediately. However, these guys, who are they? The Akis. Uh, the Akis also start down here, and they will send this army against us fairly early on. I they also start actually on our island, so we need to uh, a giant among men. indeed deal with them first. Ajax has a lineage which increases his campaign movement range at sea, which is going to be quite useful, and also increases the missile resistance of all units in the hero's army, which means you are very resistant to missile attacks. Uh, he's also an epic hero, so he generates more rage in battle, increased in morale, and more influence, and he's a Homeric character, which means he can't die in uh, combat. He's got some good skills. I mean, fairly standard, I think. There's nothing massively surprising in that list that I've found. Um... Generally pretty good. And equipment-wise, he starts with Ajax's Tower Shell, which increases melee defense of the hero by 10, and melee defense of all units in this hero's army by 5. Uh, yes, your army is going to be incredibly tanky. Uh, we also get the Triconta ship, which is going to increase campaign movement range, and the Achaean Kithon, which is going to increase motivation, which we don't need on Ajax anyway, and uh, more influence in this province. Okay, so Truth first things first... And deadliest enemy. Indeed. Let's go and stab this jerk. Into the fray. Right. You, my old mucker, are dead. Right away. And this is why I really like Total War Troy, because... It's fucking terrain. Look at this. I'm in a canyon. Oh. It's so good. So, Ajax. There he is. Big beefy boy that he is. Bit of a bear. I will. Looking good. And uh, there are the Ajax companions. It's Hard will. to see them in the, in the sun. But there we go. Big burly boys. Absolute units. Some spearmen, and then we have our javelins flanking around behind. And this is ah, oh, see, there's so many times in war. You know, I was thinking about this the other day while I was recording Total War Warhammer. I was playing um, a battle, and the AI had spread its army as wide as the map. And I was like, this is why you don't bother taking skirmishing units because effectively the AI on so many maps can just act like a dragnet. It doesn't matter if you're trying to flank them. You can't. It's literally impossible. Whereas Total War Troy, you can actually, like, use fucking tactics. And don't get me wrong, I love Total War Warhammer. I just wish it had the terrain and tactics of this game. So we've got our island skirmishers. They are heading into the long grass over here to stay a little bit hidden while they approach the enemy army. Now, they know something's up, because I think they saw us moving around the flank. So these unit of young spears are just sort of like set on the flank, probably waiting for the, the units to show themselves. So 
we head through the long grass over there. Looks like they spotted us. So their skirmishers, slingers are going to move up, which means our infantry needs to move up to support our missile units. And their general is a an archer, which is bad, because it means he's going to start taking pot shots at, uh, at poor old Ajax. And unfortunately, Ajax's shield does it. it the shield, it does nothing. So Ajax is taking a lot of damage as he advances. These young spears charging in, but some javelin volleys sweeping in there. Doing quite a lot of damage. Ajax is taking so many shots, but uh, he's, he's weathering it fairly well. As soon as he reaches this bastard, he's going to pull his head off. Now, our companions are very, very missile resistant, so they should have no trouble advancing. Um, the other units, not so much, but that's fine. The javelins are keeping multiple units busy. So they've got uh, a unit of light swordsmen, a couple of young spears who are trying to deal with them. And uh, the enemy archer is now in combat with our spears, and Ajax is uh, slowly making his way towards him. You'll soon be crying for mercy. You say that, but once I've put that bow up your rectum, you may rethink things. So Ajax's companions are moving out to defend our flank, because here come some young spears charging down. They're going to take a little bit of uh, missile fire there, but again, that's going to do literally nothing. And uh, the javelins are just continuing to uh, whack javelins in the back of these light swords. The young spears charge in. Now you can see we've sort of like spread ourselves thin and that is because any units managing to get around the flank are going to do extra damage and as long as they attack only our front we should be absolutely fine. You can see our companions there starting to rack up kills. The young spears very losing decisively and more young spears now charging down the hill towards us. We need some light swordsmen. There's a big old melee going on it with. Oh, there they are. So Ajax is beating the shit out of this uh, enemy hero. In fact, so much so that he's decided to run away. He's like, nope, I've had enough. Come back here, you little shit. Victory is close enough to test. Yeah, Ajax is going to chase him to death. You can see our companions holding the line. I mean, there's just some audio bugs. That That is the game. Of course, we get early access, so... Uh, I can see, the uh, my companions have basically lost nothing. They've lost no health. They're just like, it doesn't matter. It's fine. They will they will tank shit to the end of it, especially these guys. I mean, the young spears are not a particularly effective unit. You can see they're tired as well. So you can see their melee attack and defense have been lowered. And uh, as, has, as has ours, to be fair, but we're just a lot, a lot better. So we get tired, but... Um, it has less effect on us than those those other units because those other units are basically like starter tier and uh, we're a little bit more elite than that. Enemy army is now fleeing. Look at them go. Gonna be a little bit careful not to chase them directly into where our javelins are because the javelins are just not like just chilling out, just lobbing some javelins at some idiots. There they go. We'll reform them a little bit. So you can see these young spears are now just, pro just proceeding directly in front of us, which is a not a good idea. No, see? You've got a javelin through your chest. That's not good. That That's a bad idea. Yeah, lots of javelins and lots of heads. See, that's, that's going to sting. These light swordsmen having a similar experience. When will you boys learn? That's for shooting me with the bow, you bastard. What a jerk. I don't know. Never mind. Even more unstoppable. Indeed. As long as no one shoots you. Right. Uh, you're going to take a little while to heal up. You're pretty fine. Okay, we're going to just scooch a little bit to the south. I know it's, it seems nothing, but it's going to let us get a little bit closer to this settlement. Because I know for a fact this guy is going to be heading straight for us. 
next turn. So, Truest friend. we're going to grab some units, just a couple of spears and a slinger, something like that. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to start building the Maker's Camp ASAP. Then we have the Royal Decree. Now we start off with uh, gold and also the, the timber. So we get some wood and some gold coming in. What, however, we don't have is bronze. And as you can see, we're actually spending 30 bronze because our Ajax companions may be fucking awesome, but they also cost us 30 bronze. And we don't actually have any, any, any bronze to spare. So um, that has actually been marked as a bug in uh, in the release notes. So I think they'll probably Defending fix that. What they'll the do to that, I don't know. I mean, what they could maybe do is, is switch the timber to actually starting with bronze. That would mean that uh, you, you you get 60 bronze a turn rather than losing 30. And that probably makes more Epic sense warrior. considering you start with a start with um, wood settlement anyway. So kind of makes would make sense, I guess. Okay, uh, skill wise. I now the both of these are pretty good. So you can either get a boost to your armor, but reduce your speed. It's quite nice. However, I kind of like the warning shout because that's going to give us flanking defense, and it's also going to give us plus ten percent melee defense on the upgrade. Um, I mean, I don't really need the charge resistance, but. That's 60 meters. That's been, that's been another 25 armor in quite a wide radius. This 50 seconds. This one lasts 120 seconds, though. The 10% te melee defense could be quite nice. Let's do, let's do this. Let's, let's go for warning, shall Victory feels good. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so we, we start off um, fairly good. We're going to get the Maker's Count. That's going to reduce the up, um, reduce this cost of upgrading everything else. We do want to grow our settlement as soon as possible. And uh, we are going to pick up, I think, the bronze to start off with because we need it. Although stone would be good as well. What we can do, though, is cop into diplomacy and uh, see if we can potentially make any deals. So not with you. A warrior like a not with you. An honest and open discussion is still possible. We could have an aggression pack with you and then we could say, give me all your stone. And some woods. I'll take I'll take your wood. Your wood and stone. Of course. Could give you military access. Don't think I need to though. Not yet. Talking now avoids suffering later. Uh let's hold off with that as well. Is there anyone else who would potentially right. Nope. Come in, my friend. Okay, well it's not the best, but we did get We've got a little bit of extra stone dribbling in. I mean, it's better than nothing, isn't it? So we've got a mission to issue a royal decree, which we're doing. And, yep, sure enough, here comes... I cannot do it. Well, you say that. Okay, we've got ten boys, which isn't enough, but it'll probably be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to land over here. Something like that. And we're also it's going to give us a little bit more wood a turn, not a huge amount. This will give us a little bit more food. It's only going to cost us wood. So let's go with that. Seems fine. Uh, can we get any agreements going? Let's have a quick look. I anticipate a warrior like basically. I'm sure we can reach it. Okay, well, hold off for the moment. Ideally, we need some more barters going on, but at the moment I don't really have much to barter because I'm going to need my woods. Um, once we get that, we get a little more food, but mm, still, then we'll have to come right. We can get we can get Dryopis, Meropia, and I think Melos is the other one in the settlement. Yeah. So the bronze will fix our bronze problem, and also we probably won't need a lot of bronze to start off with, so we can probably then barter that for other things. Hephaestus has ranked up because we've built a little construction thing. And we've got the Great Salamanian Sword, which increases melee damage of Hero, which is going to be quite nice because uh, currently we don't have anything like that. So, oh, can we not equip it? Or is it that one? Oh, it's a... There we go. I thought it was a weapon. It is not. 
Okay, you've popped into that settlement. That means you have more units than we do, which is less ideal, but... You've got a lot of slingers. Mm. What's the map look like? I think we can take him. I mean, we're going to have to. So, we're going for it. Now, this battle's already been going on for a little bit. We've been skirmishing, which is, again, why I like this game. Because sometimes your battles take a little while to actually kind of get involved. Because you're busy sort of, like, skirmishing with your slingers, with your javelins, getting your units into position, that kind of thing. And, um... This early on, our companions are just a little bit broken because <laughs> because the, the enemy slingers have been chucking stones at them for quite some time. And you can see they've taken some damage, but um, they, they haven't lost any members of the unit. And, uh, of course, once the slingers run out of ammunition, which is going to be fairly soon, if we just have a quick look, we can see that uh, I think you have one ammunition, zero, ten, and zero. Yeah, so these guys are the only unit with ammunition left. And as soon as they stop chucking stones at us, um, as long as no one has died, this unit will just regenerate back up to full. Uh, so that's fun. I mean, the, the having this much missile resistance this early on um, makes these guys quite broken, to be honest. Plus, I guess the missile resistance as well. So they've got 65 um, missile resistance from their shield, and then they have additional 5% just because of Ajax. So uh, they they're just they're just not taking any damage, and then they just heal it all up anyway. So uh, that that that's fun. Just as well, really, because we're quite outnumbered here. Uh, now there are two things that go in our favour. One, well, no, three. One, <laughs> I'll come in again. One, the the Ajax companions. Uh, they obviously are taking no fucking damage from missile attacks. So that's nice. Two, Ajax himself should be able to deal with both these lords. And three, some of these units are very tired. And we have a look at the spearmen here. We can see their stats are 14 melee attack and 29 melee damage. And we have a look at our own spearmen. You can see 18 and 41. So because their units are tired, um, they have a drastically reduced melee attack and melee defense and speed as well. And armor. Really? You lose armor? Really? Holy shit. Oh well. Duly noted. Okay, so... Having drained all of the uh, the Slinger's ammunition, we're just waiting for our boys just to, like, patch themselves up. Which they are doing very, very quickly. <laughs> Look how fast they're healing up. It's like the Slinger's just did nothing. We got some boo-boos and that's fucking it. And uh, they've just got no ammunition left. So uh, the, these units are now basically useless. Because um, they're all very tired. And uh, because of that, their melee stats are like single digits. So that's that's not going to go very well for them. Now, in spite of that, they still have a lot of shit they can throw at us. And uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Plus Ajax can only deal with one of the heroes at any one time. So we're still going to have to be careful. But this is doable. Now, we've used a lot of our own ammunition. To be honest, we used it on killing some of the slingers, and in hindsight, I probably should have just left them to their own devices. Should have just let them waste their shots, and then I could have used the skirmishers to deal with the enemy uh, melee infantry. That would probably be a, a better better use of, of the ammunition. But, um, you know, if, if horses were wishes, eh? And uh, so we're going to move over to this side because we're going to have to use, use this rock here, this outcropping, as an anchor for our line. That still means we have to be careful of this this little pathway through here. But we're going to try our best. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the Ajax companions around this little sort of road, around this little like farm. Is it a farm? It's like a farm. It's got sheepies and a goat. There's a goat. A little goat boy. And a little cockerel there. Okay, good. So, um... We're going to bring them around, and we're going to kind of like create a front line between this farm and this outcropping here. To hopefully kind of like draw as many of the enemy infantry in as possible. So here we go, in our advancing. The Island Club Warrior is going to be held in reserve, just in case. Just use him to start to defend our spearmen's backs. I will. 
chop Ajax. Now, Ajax can chuck boulders at people, but he's not very accurate with them, unfortunately. Um, they, don't, they don't seem to do an awful lot of damage. The Achaean Slingers are being sent in to die. I guess that works. Oh, look, levitating wood. Literally unplayable. Jeez, that guy got kicked in the heads. Holy shit. Okay, so this isn't going to go very well for the Achaean Slingers. They are just going to um, get absolutely wrecked. Yeah, they, they've already broken. These guys are losing decisively. I mean, it's not a massive surprise, to be honest. But here comes a little... So here comes some spears. Maybe buffed with something? Who knows? I chucked a rock at them, but it didn't do anything. It just missed. These Island Club Warriors chasing off these Achaean Slingers that came around the other flank. I mean, again, that should be a bit of a slaughter because, let's face it, these guys are tired and they've only got a little, a little shanky knife. And, yep, they are now running away. So far, so good. But here comes the bulk of the enemy army. And they're mostly going to be hitting this left flank down here. Again, we may be getting some audio bugs. And uh, that is because uh, it is an early access release. Hopefully, that'll be fixed um, for release. They already are already aware of it. Now, here's going to be my boys, my Ajax companions. These are going to be the lads that are going to do it for us. Um, they are, however, having to flank quite widely around the enemy army. And as such, uh, I probably should have maybe kept them over here. But I made my choice, and I stick by it. Ajax checking a boulder in there, which does nothing. And... One of your units has no more ammunition. And, yep. Yeah. Now our javelins are out of ammo, which is not ideal. The Island Club Warriors are holding back here. This flank may collapse. There is an enemy hero there. That's not ideal. Our spearmen are advancing up. And you can see there's an enemy unit of spearmen just there. We're going to engage both of these and then bring in Ajax companions from the rear. We're going to drop uh, Frenzy... Ch is it Frenzy Charge? Furious Charge? Angry Charge? What is it? Reckless Charge. There we go. Reckless charge in the back. That's going to boost up their charge bonus to 40. It's going to reduce their melee defense, but that's fine. You can see them just wreck, actually tearing through those spears. Just ripping through them very, very quickly. Losing health very rapidly. Losing decisively. They should break quickly, hopefully. Uh, things have deteriorated on my left flank as my spears are starting to break and more units are flanking around. I'm having to send my island skirmishers in to engage. It's not ideal, but um, because they're very tired, these spearmen are very tired, we should be okay generally. Right, we've got... A, that unit has broken. We're bringing in the uh, Ajax companions. Another reckless charge. Of course, they are... Get bonus to flanking as well. In they come. I and mean, these, these boys racking up the kills. You can see just the, just the numbers climbing. 53, 55, 57, 60, 61. Just hacking their way through this chaff. There's a mass route occurring over here. It looks, it looks pretty good. Have a look. You can see numerous units now fleeing away from the battle. The uh, Ajax companions hacking them down. The skirmishers are trying to mop up these spears. They got them surrounded, but it's not probably going to be. Good. There's an enemy hero here as well, which is is not ideal. Ajax has spotted the enemy general and is going in for a fight. I think he's got that. Lots of units fleeing all over the place. We're hunting down as many as possible to try and make sure they don't come back. Ajax companions just continuing to murder their way through everyone. Up to 120 kills now. However, units are starting to break away and they will start rallying. And that's going to leave our flank a little bit unsecure. Ajax is winning this fight. Ajax was always already a little bit wounded, but it looks like he's winning this fight. Apparently, there's, there's just one spearman currently in the way, and they're just oh, there we go. He's got out of the way finally. Get in there, my my son. Get in there. Fuck him up. Okay, our spears have reformed, and we've got the Ajax companions into formation just in time as militia come charging in against us. Of course, that is not good for those militia. Those militia are going to get. Torn to pieces. Just as, yeah, there we go. Ajax companions start hitting back. 
And these militia are just getting ripped apart. We're trying to reform our lines. You can see a unit of militia coming back there. Our spears turn and engage them as they try and dart past. Come on, Ajax. Finish him off. We've got another one to deal with. Okay, he's running away. He's legging it. Good. Now we need to deal with this other, this other hero over here. He needs to be dealt with. Uh, the Iron Skirmishers are going to get charged by some young spears, but I think they should be able to deal with them. Probably. The companion is just holding the line against multiple units that are rallied and are just charging into this blob to try and break through. It's just not working, though. The companions are just holding the line against everything. 206 kills, 207, 208 kills, 209 kills, just murdering their way through everyone that tries to, to break through. Ajax now rushing over to help out against that enemy hero. Our spears have lined up just to try and fend off any rallying units. It's quite, it's quite hard to like finish off units um, that are running away because you don't have cavalry or fast moving units like that. Come on Ajax, you're just having a, having a breather. Victory! Having a bit of a breather. But uh, it looks like Ajax Companions might have won the battle for us. Having held the line with 230 kills, the enemy general is kind of like, ah, actually, you know what, I've, I've decided to go and find something else better to do. Oh dear. Oh well, at least he won't need his leg. Now that, that is why Total Tro War Troy is a really good game. Oh, that was very sat that's a that was a very satisfying battle. That was very satis oh I love that. Fucking oh. That got the old juices flowing, and no mistake. Right, we'll grab some more of you boys. And do I want to upgrade you? Now that's going to increase it 20 to 40%. It does kind of make sense, doesn't it? The max rank does cost gold, so I don't know if that's worth it. But I think that definitely is worth it. Now, we can always do the challenge once we have uh, 3,500 food. Which, we're getting a lot of food every turn anyway. So that should be fairly straightforward. Although I know for a fact that uh, this this unit to recruit also costs bronze. And currently, of course, we, ha we have no bronze. So uh, we probably, probably don't want to get them just yet. Uh, we don't want to massively reduce our growth because that would be a silly idea, so we're not going to do that. I would like more wood, but for the moment we're just going to hold off. Um, we do have this building here, which does increase the percentage of wood we get and reduce the construction. So basically all of the construction in Megaris is going to be dirt cheap. Because we've got this, which reduces the construction cost. We've also got this, which also reduces the construction. So basically, we're getting very, very uh, low cost. Look at this. It only costs us um, 1,000 wood and 256 stone to upgrade to um, to the third rank of building. And the max rank only costs two, 2k and, and 600 stone, which is, is barely that's nothing, really. And we can reduce that further. Uh, what we can do is we can get a little commandment going, which I think we're going to go with growth because that just makes sense. And as soon as we can, we're going to head down to Dryopis and see if we can conquer that for the bronze. It will mean we're a little bit far away from our home province, but I think we're fairly safe here. I think. So we need to maintain 12 of our successful missions so we get some more food and some bronze, which is useful. And we need to upgrade the main building of uh, a main settlement, which, yes, well, we're going to do that anyway, so that's all fine. We could always grab the logger's tent, which is going to give us a bit more wood, which I think is probably sensible. So let's go and do that. I could also get the Fletcher, but... I don't want to reduce my influence that much. Ajax the Great. At once. Uh, I mean, we, we don't have much. We don't have mu many options here, so I guess we'll just go spearman. I guess. Uh, goods. Okay, fine. Do you have construction available? I mean, we're, we're building from bits and pieces, but I'm just mostly waiting for this to finish. Uh, how much growth do we have in the province? So. 
full turns and we'll be able to upgrade to the citadel assuming we have the stone which we should have by that point plus of course it should be cheaper by that point as well We've got laying the foundation, so construction the building, we get more stone and wood, which is good. Uh, Ajax is firm but fair. And we could get more food. I would quite like Ever more food. Reliable. Should we? I mean, it, it, it costs a lot of food. It's going to cost us all of our food, basically, but we could do this challenge. The other option is we he said we had set sail for Dryopis ASAP. Um. We do need to replenish our troops, though, don't we? we? It would be useful. I mean, there's nine boys there, plus you are recruiting. Yes, you're mustering. So we probably want a full stack. Just as you say. So let's do that. I could do this, but it's going to... I mean, it, it does give us more growth. But it's going to slow us down from getting the main building, which I think is probably more important. So we're going to hold off. Because I think it's more important to do that. Uh, we've got a quest to get uh, 20 units in a single army, which we're almost there. We've also got the Great Salamian Spear, plus 70 melee damage uh, of hero against spear units. Is I that also run. ancillary? Let's have a quick look. It is, yes. So we get we got more we got more damage against sword and hero units, uh, sword and spear units even. So that's I nice. Uh, do we set sail now? I'm going to say yes. I mean, he'll probably rush to defend it, but... But... Nah, we're probably all right. He says, unsure that that's true. We could grab this. Uh, wood we're doing okay with, so we'll, we will grab that. And basically, we're just waiting for the growth. One turn. So we just need to wait one turn, and then we can build the citadel. And that'll give us uh, some more construction slots. How many construction slots will it give us? Does it say five construction slots? So three, four, five. So it'll give us two more construction slots. So that'd be quite nice. Give us some more construction slots to play about with. Uh, settlement upgrade available. Yes, but we're saving it. We're going to save it. Now, I'm assuming that Akis are going to rush to defend their settlement. If they don't, we'll fool them. What, what do you want? You want some gold in exchange for some bronze? Um, no. No. So at the point where they're just going to start offering us random barters. No, oh, you haven't... You haven't rushed the defence, which is... Okay, well... Unfortunate for this settlement. They might try and sneak on past. But never mind. Right, so we, this set of is now dirt cheap. Like, get five of those. Do that. Uh, give us more, some more construction slots. We'll save. I say we're not, we're not bringing any stone at the moment. Um, How long before we get one turn? That's good, because we're almost out of bronze. That's fine. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to get rid of my Ajax companion. They, they're they basically the linchpin of my force, and I need more of them. In fact, how much is this going to cost me? Nothing. Well, I know what I'm getting. I'm getting improving grounds once I've got my bronze. Need my bronze, then I'm getting some more Ajax companions, because those guys are fucking legit. Issue a royal decree, which we've done. So we've got more bronze, which means it's stopping our bronze hemorrhaging, which is good. And now we have the shield of the Achaeans. The winds of war are rising, Ajax, son of Telemon. They bear the echoes of past oaths and future glories. Wise Chiron of the Tentor tribes, the man who shaped you and Achilles into mighty warriors you are today, comes to you with omens of war. You shall soon be tested in battle by the mighty offspring of Gaia, Ajax of Salamis. Honour the oaths you have spoken and take the rightful place of the shield of the Achaeans. Need to move. 
to Aegina, which I was, I was just there. I was just there. I've left. Okay, that looks like an order resolve to me, so. Into the fray. Yeah, off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's head off. That's. Yeah. Yep. That'll do it. And we'll just occupy, because I need the bronze. Courage pays off. So we've got Sapper, so must minus one to enemy siege holdout time and more morale during siege battles. And more campaign movement range, which is good. Ready for war. We've also got a little skill point to drop. Now, I think more melee attack or more melee defense. I you know what? I'm I'm thinking more melee defense. I'm thinking we go we go tanky. Way of Athena. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Alright, what we got here? We do have the harpy. So that means we could recruit some harpies. The harpies are quite good. So. Defending the righteous. Though they do cost some bronze. But they don't uh, they don't cost bronze to upkeep. So we could get a couple of these. So that would be quite nice. So we should probably do that. So we're going to do that. Epic warrior. And then we just need to deal with these guys down here. I also want to take Melos if we can. And I want to get stone because at least I, need, I need some sort of stone income. Otherwise, I'm going to I'm going to be having problems. Going to be having problems. I'm a little bit concerned that someone else might declare war on me. So let's just have a quick look. Who doesn't like me? Akis don't like me. Corinthians don't like me. That'd be bad. Everyone else is kind of chill. So I'm not super worried. There is no warrior I a wee spark. Is there anyone I can get any kind of like deals with? Talking now, boy. Come on. I expect it. Anyone? Come no? On, my friend. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, what else? So you've got, there's food there and then the capital. So I want those. Uh, there's wood, there's stone over there. So that could be an option. And I could declare war on Athens. Uh, they've got a gold mine, more food. And that's a dock as well. And so is that. So that'd be lots of food and some gold. So, you know, options. I have options. Construction available where. So we could upgrade this, but that would lower the influence, which I'm not super into. So I think I'm going to just ignore that for the moment. Hello. You want to give me some bronze for a military alliance? Um, all right. I'll take it. Because it let me recruit the harpies and then I can go and bop those um those Akis jerks. Time put aside a difference. It's not aggression pact. Uh you want some wood. Um yeah, okay. I'm not super into trying to kill you. Okay, you're over there. Can we reach you? That's the question. Maintain control of one province either by direct ownership or through vassals. Which we've done. So thank you for the woods. Uh, issue a royal commandments, which we've done. So good. Okay. Can, we can reach you. Oh. Do you just, just want to come at me? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's get more food. Because I would like to get another army up here. Just as a little bit of defense. Because I don't trust... I don't, I don't trust them. I don't trust these buggers. Talking of buggers I don't trust. Hello? I mean, that looks like it's going to be an absolute slaughter. But that is going to have to wait until... Is this Dennis Hopper? Am I fighting Dennis Hopper? I think I'm fighting Dennis Hopper. That'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.